this may be just what I'm doing at the moment. So a lot of my time at the moment is helping year 13s who are about to make applications uh, for university. But I wanted to get all of your takes on some top tips if we can pass those on. So thinking first about personal statements, you've all applied successfully for very different subjects. Was there anything that you particularly remember from your application that you were really like, that was a really nice thing to have on there. Um, this is a question I always get asked for medics, Aaron, so I'm going to come to you first. Well, uh, I'm going to disappoint you and tell you that in none of my interviews I was asked about my personal statement. Uh, I was interviewed at four, uh, I had four interviews over the course of two days. I wasn't asked about my personal statement. That's not to say I, wasn't, I didn't mention things that were on my personal statement in answer to questions, but at no point did they get it out and sort of say, right, you've said this here, what do you mean by that? But I know other medics that that was the case. They were sort of grilled on my personal statement. I think the key thing for medicine is, um, in terms of work experience, uh, it's quite a, normally formed quite a large part of your personal statement, or at least a paragraph, um, to be quite reflective. And I know I get, I get asked quite a lot, like, how much do I need? How many weeks do I need? Like, how many different places do I need to have gone to? That's not really important. It's more important that what you have done You've learned from it and uh, you've sort of really reflected on it. Um, you've, you've thought about what surprised you about it um, why, and why that uh, sort of reaffirmed your uh, commitment to studying medicine. Um, but yeah, it, it's uh, qu uh, quality, not quantity, I guess is the key thing when it comes to work experience. Yeah, and that, that's, that's a really good point. But just to kind of reinforce that, a lot of students at the moment might be worried about not being having been able to get work experience particularly for a course like medicine there is guidance out there if you have a look like the uh, the medical council does have some really good guidance about virtual work experience that you can get at the moment um but also like aaron was saying there are various ways that you can show engagement and understanding with any course you're applying for but particularly for medicine so have a look around there or ask us in the chat if there's other things that you're wanting to to kind of talk about there i guess aaron your experience as a linguist might have been slightly different for your personal statement yeah so one thing i would definitely agree with is the engagement point um it can be difficult when for any of the um, arts degrees to kind of show your engagement in terms of saying I've done X, Y, Z in a professional setting because it's very hard to get that experience, especially when you come from a working class background or a background where you might have been a carer and you just might not have had that free time. But I think especially with Oxbridge, what they really care about is seeing that you're passionate about the subject. So if you've read something, even if you were really proud of one assignment you did in, in school, then talk about that. They really do like to see about it because it shows that you are actually interested in the subject. Um, that's the biggest thing. They want to see that you want to learn and that you, you, you know, you're prepared to take on board what they're going to offload onto you. They don't expect you to know everything by any means at all. Um, and, you know, it can be kind of daunting, especially if you come from a working class background when you hear some people say, oh, I've done this. I au pair in Italy for a year and that helped me really improve my Italian. And you think, oh, I'm in the middle of my A-level and I've never been to Italy. And it's not a big deal. Like, it really isn't. Once it comes down to the interviews, everyone's on the same playing field. You all have the same chance of getting in. It's just that you need to show that you actually do care about it and you really want to be here. And that once you show that, it really does come through. Yeah, I, th I think just to echo that, whenever I speak to tutors about what are the things that they want to see on an application, the word Aaron used there of passion is, is the thing that is most commonly said. And he's given some really good ideas. And just to pick up on that point of, you will, we will see applications from people who've, you know, had the fortune of going and, and done something lovely in Italy. I think when I'm talking to students about personal statements, I have a so what test. Yes, you've done this thing, but so what? What did it make you think? How did it change what you think about your subject? Did it make you do something else? And that isn't necessarily going on a fancy trip abroad. It might be just listening to a podcast or reading a chapter of a book. Engaging with that really well 
is going to set you aside, set you apart really positively far better than a list of impressive looking things um right that's my rant over daffodil how about you yeah i completely agree i think it's one thing to show you're passionate and then it's a second thing to show that you're being proactive with that passion mm. and showing that you've you know watched a lecture on something and you've actually taken an idea from it and gone and done a project for example i know with engineering um similar to medicine i guess people go on work experiences and courses to kind of get an idea for engineering for them but there are a lot of things that you can do virtually as well there's loads of online courses available you can do your own project at home you can research a topic you're really interested in and it's those kind of things that show you're proactive you don't necessarily have to be accepted onto courses or have the resources at hand but it's just something to show that you have an interest and you've taken it a little bit further to actually you know indulge yourself into that interest and that's when the tutors will see oh, okay this student is really passionate about their subject and then yeah it's that so what thing it's trying to convince the tutors and actually give them some context yeah and I, I think just something to add that I've been asked by students before as well don't worry which university or what form that engagement is I sometimes meet students who are panicking of oh, I did this thing with Cambridge but I'm applying to Oxford is it okay that I put it in my post of course it is we don't we don't care we, we want to see that passion and engagement rather than anything else um, Ellie, how about you? What are your memories of personal statements? Yeah, um, I agree with what everyone's been saying. Um, and particularly the point of if you can do um, a little bit of a project or research in your own time on a part of the subject that you're interested in specifically, um, it might not be a part that's really big or a main theme, but if you're interested in it, that's the most important thing because then you'll be more enthusiastic and that'll come through much more in the writing and in the interviews than anything else. Um, if any of you have happened to do an EPQ they're very useful just because it gives you a format to do a project um, but if you haven't you can do the same thing just by looking stuff up yourself and just saying I'm interested in this part of the subject and this is why and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and just, just to build on what Ellie said there, I sat in on biology interviews a year or so ago, and the first question they were asked, no massive spoiler here, of give me a couple of things that really excite me, excite you about your subject. Now that's a really easy question to answer if on your personal statement you've talked about those things, you've done EPQs that show that engagement, or there's different particular aspects of your subject that you're really interested in. 